Hey there you, welcome back to yet another XCOM 2 video, and yes I will be milking this franchise forever, I will not even begin to try to deny that. Although we're going to be doing something a little bit different than normal. Today I want to talk you through my absolute favorite top 10 XCOM mods of all time. Mods I think everybody should be playing with that just genuinely improve the experience. These mods will also be for War of the Chosen, I also guarantee that there are other amazing mods that aren't on this list, as this was incredibly difficult for me to narrow down. There's a lot of great options out there. If I get around to it, there will be a link to my mod list on Steam, and that will contain every mod I use when I play XCOM 2, including the ones I don't mention in this video. Assuming I got around to doing that. but. Hopefully I did. Also, while XCOM 2 has a Steam Workshop page, modding XCOM 2 is a little complicated and requires a couple extra steps. If this is your first time modding XCOM 2, I strongly recommend watching my video on modding it, where I go through all the steps with my good friend Scarabig Enterprises. Okay, last note, a lot of these mods have preliminary mods you need to get before they work correctly. I will not be including those in this list, but when you go to download them, the page should tell you which mods are required. Those that have done this before, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, now that housekeeping is done, let's get into this video. First up, before we go into the top 10 themselves, I would like to propose three mods that, while they aren't very expansive or incredible, just improve the quality of life for XCOM 2. First up in terms of quality of life is a mod that everybody should have for their playthrough. Evac All. It does exactly what it sounds like. It evacuates all your units rather than making you click each person one at a time. And it <laughs> looks pretty badass. Next up is Stop Wasting My Time, War of the Chosen Edition. Stop wasting my time does, well, I mean, exactly as advertised. You know those annoying long pauses that XCOM 2 has from time to time? Now they are minimal. It's a pretty good catch-all for those little time wasters that just greatly improves the quality of your XCOM games and streamlines them a little bit. It's one of those things where you don't notice it until it's gone. I tried playing just straight up vanilla XCOM 2 recently and god damn there was a noticeable difference. And last but certainly not least, Overwatch All slash Others War the Chosen Edition. Not unlike Evac All, Overwatch All does similarly, and was inspired by Evac All as well, unsurprisingly I'm sure. It allows you to click an option to make all units go on Overwatch simultaneously, as well as allowing you to put all units except the one you have selected on Overwatch. It just saves a lot of time and makes our lives just a little bit easier while we're slaying aliens. So that's it for my favorite time-saving mods. That just really improved from the campaign-to-campaign -campaign frustrations that we all know XCOM 2 to cause. Alright, now for my top 10 favorite mods, starting with my top 5 favorite cosmetic mods, and then my top 5 gameplay changing mods. For number 5, we have Captain Bub's Accessories, War the Chosen Edition. While this lovely little mod is a classic in the community, and is incredibly high quality, it doesn't quite add a large enough selection for me to put it up higher. Although the things it does add are fantastic, from stogies to spec ops masks, this mod is a lovely addition for your crew to look even more badass than they already are. It adds fucking cigars, alright? When your gruff old man of a character is sniffing up his cigar while going fisticuffs with a mouton, it's a sight to behold, trust me. For number 4, we have a slightly suggestive yet fantastic addition in the form of the War of the Chosen Calendar Pose Pack. Did your boys just kick absolute ass in a mission? The Calendar Pose Pack adds an incredible amount of new poses for your lads and lasses to express themselves with. There are a couple mods with this name all developed by a user who is presently named Kex, and they are all fantastic and all add a larger and larger selection for you. I don't know if you're like me, but making that little posters in XCOM 2 brings me a joy I rarely feel during the gruff tides of war with the advent. God, that was so cringe to say, Jesus Christ. Anyhow, moving on to number 3. War of the Chosen, Metal Gear Solid 5, TPP, Ultimate Outfit Collection. 
It's exactly that, a massive amount of costumes and outfits inspired by Metal Gear Solid 5. And it's high quality. And yes, it does have that outfit, you filthy brained fellow. Altogether, this mod pack is a must have for Metal Gear Solid fans. Now, before I talk about this next, let me just say, yes, I know we all hate Fortnite, but can we at least agree that the skin designers on Fortnite are very talented people? Okay, now that we have that out of the way, the next spot for number two, I'm recommending pretty much any skin developed by Asth Asthai? A-S-T-H-Y-E. If you've scrolled through the workshop for XCOM 2, it's likely you've seen his classic green border around an outfit or two. He's created such a massive amount of skins for your units, ranging from games such as Fortnite, as well as Destiny, and even my favorite DC character, Red Hood. I personally have quite a number of his outfits installed. My top three of his that are my favorites are the Exile Titan Armor from Destiny, Red Hood, obviously, and finally the Stormfarer outfit from Fortnite. Okay? I, I know. It looks cool, okay? I, I know it's from Fortnite, but I think it's cool. It's cool. <clears throat> Alright, for my final pick, and my favorite XCOM 2 cosmetic mod at the moment, is the War of the Chosen Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Master Collection. It adds such an absurd range of new weapons and slick new sound effects for each weapon. This is a must-have for those of us that enjoy more grounded weaponry, as opposed to the blocky and clunky XCOM 2 versions. I actually found this mod through my time with Scarab as I was showing him how to mod XCOM 2, and I'm glad I did. This mod is bad ass. Alright, so those are my favorite cosmetic mods in XCOM 2. Now let's talk about those mods that heavily changed the gameplay of XCOM 2, almost making it into an entirely new game. First up in spot number 5 is a classic must-have mod known as War of the Chosen Dual Wielded Pistols 2.0. This allows you to do exactly as you'd expect. You can dual wield pistols and it's bad ass. I'm saying badass a lot. <laughs> this game just allows for badassery, what can I say? This mod also adds new poses for posters, and it even allows your units to wield their secondary weapons as their primary. It's a sexy mod that allows that gun sling and dream. Slight warning though, if you have the mod for primary secondaries, it will not work with this mod, as dual wielded pistols is sort of a rework of that old one developed by the same guys. So if you are currently running primary secondaries, I extra recommend swapping over to this one. It's the same thing with just more. Now let's talk number four on this list, augmentations. This mod allows you to turn your soldiers into bad at oh my god, I'm saying it again, <laughs> into kick-ass cybernetic warriors of destruction. It adds a new research option for each respective body part and allows you to replace said body parts as you see fit. Augmented soldiers also heal faster when damaged. It also adds just a cosmetic augmented look as well if you want to just get the look without the researching hassle. It's a goodie of a mod and I highly recommend it. Now for number 3. This mod is the first main mod I downloaded, and that mod is Allies Unknown War of the Chosen Edition. This adds entirely new systems to have the other alien species of XCOM 2 as well as entire other franchises into your campaign. If you click on the Allies Unknown tag on the workshop page, you will find all the compatible mods and different species as you can add. I personally added the Advent Hybrids, Turians, and Quarians from Mass Effect, as well as the additional improved Vipers mod and the elites from Halo, aka Sangheili, or something like that. Sangheili? I'm American, I can't do funky words. <laughs> Combine all these together and you get a great addition to your campaign. New allies, new combat abilities depending on the species, it's fantastic. Now for my second favorite mod of all time for XCOM 2, and that's the Chimera Classes. Guys, I said it right. This excellent mod replaces the four vanilla classes with ten wonderfully well-developed classes that improve the leveling experience tenfold. These classes include the Assault, Commando, Demolitionist, Gunner, Hacktivist, Inferno, Marksman, Psionic, Shinobi, and Support classes, each altogether adding a total of over 200 new perks, as well as over 400 new nicknames for each class. This is a genuinely fantastic rework for the class of XCOM 2. There are other class rework mods that are also fantastic in very different ways, but this is my personal favorite. Now for the absolute 
the best mod for XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, this will likely come as no shock to most of you, it has to be Long War of the Chosen. Long War took vanilla XCOM 2 by storm when it launched, but not as much as its War of the Chosen counterpart. This absolutely goddamn superb mod was developed by the same guys that would later go on to make Terra Invicta, a global defense simulation game that I actually did review on this channel if you are interested in looking into that as well. It should be popping up in the corner if once again I decided to not be lazy. So what does Long War of the Chosen do. Here are a couple of its major changes as written in its description on the workshop page. Build up the resistance by contacting regions and recruiting rebels in their havens. Use those haven rebels to detect missions for you, which you must then infiltrate before they expire. Send out multiple squads at a time, adjusting the equipment and composition to make sure they can infiltrate in time. Watch as Advent reacts to your actions by strengthening regions, making missions more difficult, and sending retaliatory strikes on your havens. Grapple with the more challenging versions of the Chosen, both in the strategy lair and in retaliation missions. They no longer randomly spawn on missions. Discover a new research tree with several new techs and a bunch of new proving ground projects. Make use of eight new soldier classes that have three ability choices per rank and an extra rank. 8 instead of vanilla 7. Get up to 2 of each faction soldier class, all of whom have been completely reworked from War of the Chosen. Train up officers that provide powerful buffs and abilities for your squad. Play with buffed up sparks and more challenging alien rulers if you have the corresponding DLCs installed. Encounter entirely new enemies that force you to adapt your tactics. Essentially, this lengthens your campaign, adding new tools to your disposal, as well as adding newer and greater threats, and just more variety in general. It's an entire reworking of Vanilla War of the Chosen, and it's phenomenal. So, that's my top 10 mods in XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. If you don't wish to play War of the Chosen, a lot of these mods will likely have counterparts that work with the original XCOM 2 experience, but I personally think that War of the Chosen adds so much to play around with, and it's the best way to experience XCOM 2, especially with these mods. Once again, if you'd like, I've left a link in the description to my Steam Workshop collection for this specifically, hopefully. <laughs> There's a lot of mods I didn't even mention in this video, as I said before, and I do think they're also pretty great if you want to take a look. I want to give a special shout out to Scarab for helping me find that Black Ops mod, as well as just being helpful and making me get my ass moving making this video. So you guys can thank him for this video getting out before 2024. Thank you so very much for watching. If you'd like to see more XCOM content, do hit that like button and share the video around. This was a pretty massive undertaking. And if you would like to see more of my videos in general, do give that subscribe button a nice smack like you're hitting an Advent Officer on Libum. But most importantly, have a goddamn wonderful day and don't die. See ya!